welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I am doing a quick roundup of the things that get used the most in our playroom. And when I had a look at kind of the top five things that I'm always helping Oscar to put away at the end of the day, they are all our open-ended toys. So I know it has just been Christmas and your children are probably really overwhelmed with the toys that they have at the moment, but I really want to encourage you to pare back what you have. If you are unfamiliar with Montessori and toy rotation and having less out, which means more creative play, then I will link some of my previous videos in the description box below that might help you out with that kind of understanding. But with that said, I do a toy rotation whenever the toys are not getting played with anymore or not getting played with in an appropriate way you know if everything's just being dumped out and that's it uh, so that's when I decide I need to do a toy rotation but there are some things in the playroom that stay out permanently I actually never put them away and that's because they are played with every single day now I've got the top five here and I would say six out of seven days each one of them is played with and we're tidying them up at some point in the day and when I actually laid them out these are all our true open-ended toys so an open-ended toy is something that could be anything so it isn't a defined thing so it isn't a car it isn't an animal it isn't a puzzle it can be anything so I'm gonna go over the top five things these are all super budget friendly as well so that might be a relief to you some of them are things that you can collect from around your house you don't actually need to go out and buy them most of them are things that you can get quite cheaply on amazon and i will pop all the links in the description box below what i will also do is pop a section on my amazon storefront called open-ended toys where i'll link all of these things in one area so that will help you out if you're looking at getting any of these things if you don't have them so without further ado, here is the top five open-ended toys that in our playroom get played with every single day. So number one is the one that is always out on the floor and for anybody coming to visit thinks, oh my goodness, what a mess. But to be honest, it's just scarves and they're very easy to clear up. So we have this giant basket in our playroom and it is chock full of scarves of different types and to suit different budgets actually we have from the most expensive we have this really amazing huge sarah's silk uh starscape uh silk scarf which drapes amazingly over our pickler frame and creates this like starry sky it is beautiful quality but it is expensive but you know we get so much play out of it it can be anything it can be a cape it can be a house rooftop it can just be the sky it can be water whatever it may be then we have these juggling scarves oscar has loved these from a very very early age so these things last they are used from a four month old to a five year old can use them so when you're thinking about longevity of toys these things last so these juggling scarves currently you can see some of these are actually being tied together because they have become a hose for Oscar. He loves um, doing some creative play of being a fireman. He's got a couple of books about being a fireman and he reenacts that. So this is his hose currently, but they are also equally different things at different times. And the other kind of scarf I have are these kind of big block colour ones. These are actually women's sarongs. So when I was looking for, you know, big scarves that are just soft, these are just kind of soft cotton, I was kind of racking my brains, should I go to a fabric shop? Um, I kind of wanted things that could be sand and water and land if you wanted to use them for that, or also like capes or, you know, dressing up, we can make um, outfits with them. And then I went on Amazon and found that these are really reasonably priced. I think they're only a couple of pound each and they come in like the rainbow of different colors so you can choose whatever you want. But these are used and pulled out every single day. Also, if your child is quite young and in the containment schema, so if you're noticing that they love taking things out of containers, having a scarf, a big basket of scarves, you know, that's going to entertain them for a very long time, just pulling scarves out, a bit like pulling tissues out of a tissue box. This is just 
a giant version of that. So it's all part of their play and scarves can be anything from a hose to a cape to a piece of grass. They are just so open-ended and can be used for so many different things. And although they are big and they get all over the floor, you just scoop them up and pop them back in the basket and they're done. The next item on my list is bean bags. These are, I would say, the most versatile thing that we have in this list insofar as Oscar uses these when you know, if I see him throwing things, he might be throwing his book or whatever it might be, I redirect him to bean bags because they can be thrown, he can't throw them very far, they do very little damage even if they hit a person, um, so they're quite soft, but he also uses them for different things. So the definition of an open-ended toy is that it can be anything. So yes, this can be a throwing item. It can be a tower, he uses it and has his little grab claw that he pretends is in the building site and he builds a tower with them and then knocks them over with his wrecking ball. He also uses them as pretend cakes. So he makes the cakes and puts them in the oven on a tray. This is all his creative imagination coming out and the, the simpler the toy, the more that comes out and the more your child will be able to play independently having these things available because it's not just a bean bag, it's not just an animal, it can be anything that day depending on what they want it to be. The next item on my list is rubbish. <laughs> so in this basket, which I have in the corner of our playroom, is a load of recycling. I just, whenever I'm putting something into the recycling, I always think, could that be interesting for Oscar? And if it is, I put it into this tub. So we have things like an egg carton. This, I can't even remember what it was out of, some kind of box. Was it a toaster or something? As you can see, it's looking worse for wear because sometimes it's the seat of his tractor. Sometimes it's a hat. Sometimes, I don't know, he puts some um, balls in here and it's his baking tray. It can be anything he wants. This one, as you can see, is seriously worse for wear because it gets used so much. This was like like packing in a in a box for something, just like a corrugated section of cardboard, but it's looking really worse for wear because it gets used so much. It is a ladder, it is a fireman's hose, it is a road for his cars to go on. Honestly, it's just rubbish, but they love it. No one to have a job. No the X-ray. 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 Things like the containers your fruits come in. Again, Oscar uses these for baking trays and things like that. Uh, any kind of like kitchen roll tubes he uses these if he's pretending to be on a construction site pouring cement into into a dumper truck they're just you know anything that's interesting I've got like a cheese container anything that you think could be interesting they could create something with just whack it in a container and just allow them to explore it and use it in any way they wish the next item on my list is a basket of balls Importantly, these are balls that are safe for indoors. So I have this set that I've, Oscar has had since he was very, very young, like baby. I think they're like called sensory balls. I'll link them in my description box for you. And also these balls, which I used originally for our aeroplane activities. So like keeping your toddler entertained on a plane. But these like airflow golf balls are really handy to have as balls in the house because they're really light, they don't go very far, but again they can be used for anything, they can be used like eggs in your egg box, they can be used for rolling down ramps, they can be used for animal food, <laughs> you know, whatever your child wants them to be. And the good thing about these is because they're all different like shapes, but still a ball, you know, they can be anything. So I really recommend having these. And just like the bean bags, if your child is in the trajectory schema and is wanting to throw, 
you can redirect them to these kind of softer plastic balls that aren't going to cause too much damage and aren't going to hurt anybody but they get used so much they're always all over our house in fact we have more than this but they're probably under the sofa outside or whatever but really used toy and last up on my list of open-ended toys is pom-poms you will have seen if you've been watching my channel for a while that we use pom-poms so much water play you can stick them in the bath you can freeze them and things like that i did a whole video on water play where pom-poms really uh took the you know forefront of that there's so many different kinds of pom-poms these are like large ones these are like felt balls but all of which um can be used in so many different ways so these smaller ones oscar uses um, for counting they end up on his farm as like animal food they end up as just being thrown about if they need to be um, with the recycling they can be eggs and things like that he just likes dumping them out sometimes as well and popping them back in or putting them into other things or feeding them to his animals they're just so useful and light they can be thrown, they're not going to hurt anybody, they're just a useful thing to have in your playroom and then just see what your child does with them. That's what I find fascinating. You just provide these open-ended toys. If you were to just to provide these five and take away everything for a week, and just see what your child does with the things that they have available, you will be so surprised. You don't need to lead it, mm -hmm. you don't need to tell them what they're going to do with those things, just allow their creative imagination run free with these things and it's just fascinating to watch. So I really hope this video has been useful and shown you that you don't have to spend lots of money to have toys that are really going to engage your child. They can be really simple things including your rubbish and they will be the most used and most loved things in your playroom. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!